ACL injuries are all too common in the female athlete population, but are female sex hormones to blame? And are females more susceptible to this injury during certain phases of her menstrual cycle? Although some studies have placed the ovulatory period as high risk, most of these studies rely on self-recall for the female to remember what phase of the menstrual cycle she was in when an injury occurred. For studies that do test hormone levels, it's essential to understand that menstrual cycle hormones vary from person to person and from cycle to cycle, especially if a female is on an oral contraceptive or experiencing menstrual cycle irregularities. You see, not all hormones peak at the exact 14-day mark like we want to believe. Although some studies show higher levels of female sex hormones like estrogen in athletes that experience ACL injuries, we do not have conclusive evidence if these hormones were the cause of the injury or perhaps rose as a result. This is essential to consider when estrogen plays a role in the anti-inflammatory and tissue reparation process. Even more, hormones do not act alone. Some studies that show that estrogen and relaxin increase the laxity of a ligament are contradicted by studies that show this increase of laxity is blunted in the presence of other hormones, like testosterone, which are also present in female athletes. It's important to remember there is not one culprit when it comes to ACL injuries and the female athlete population. Rather than blaming our hormones, it's time we consider other factors, like are we preparing female athletes for the high stressors of their sport as we do male athletes? With some studies showing 50% of high school male athletes required to strength train and less than 10% of female athletes being required, it's time we stop looking at hormones and start considering this disparity in the physical preparation process. This is Relentless Athletics, bringing the female athlete her best performance through science. If you like this video, be sure to like and share it. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more science on female athlete development, check out our website at relentlessathleticsllc.com.